Let's see. Okay, let's see. Ooh, I like this one. Column Turo and Joe List's wife. <laughs> oh, I love this one. Joe List's wife, I guess, is a comedian. You guys know Joe List, right? He was in the Louis C.K. movie. We make fun of him daily. Um, his wife. Oh, his why is that still playing? His wife's a comic. Um, and she was on a podcast of a guy I mentioned a lot. Column tell him. You know that guy? You might have seen him on Gas Digital. You'll probably recognize him. You this might have guy. seen him on StudioRentals.com. Ooh, what's that about? Studio Oh my god, he rents out his stu- Oh, I felt so bad for this guy. Do you guys He's know so Colum nice. Tullum? He's a what is his guy. name? Colum Terrell. He's a guy who has like slight uh Irish accent or something. Right? Mm-hmm. Very slight. Hey, he hangs out with Lewis, Gas Digital. He's so nice. So nice. He started up a podcast a while ago and he went all in. He built his own studio. You know, he was just one of these like gas digital rats that you see here and there on the uh, Real Ash podcast from time to time. But he wanted to go full steam. You don't really see guys like this make such a big jump so quickly. You know, because he got a lot of... He was one of these guys who's on Lewis's show all the time. People are like, we love him. We love him. We love him. Because he's fine. And he, uh very nice guy, right? You know, he's easy to swallow. So he gets this idea that he's going to open up. He's going to buy his own in New York City, his own full podcast space, like a commercial space for his podcast and do it. And he did this about uh, 10 months ago. I remember he was messaging me going, asking me about mixers, Jules. He was asking me what mixer I recommend. I go, oh. out of your league, pal. Okay. No, I'm sure you were very nice to him. I was very nice to him, but... He it, was building a new studio at the same time Building as us. a new studio. Listen to this, though. Two weeks ago, we see him running ads, renting out his studio for money. So it must not be doing so well if you got to rent it out on the side. And the ad was like, full podcast studio setup. Make your own dream come true. Imagine like renting up, like my podcast studio is like my bedroom. You don't rent it out. Like imagine me renting this out. You know who rents their studio out? Kumia. Yeah, that's how they pay the bills there. They rent that space out when they're not using it to other shitty little shows that just want the dream of having their own set. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. You shouldn't be renting out. That's like running an Airbnb. It's out of your own home. I mean, that's really, really pathetic. All right, let's see. We were featured on his podcast, though, with Joe List's wife. And she's going to let us into some secrets that Joe does not want out. Let's see. Uh, 40-30. Let me line this up for you. 40-30. And this is from Friday Night Gang. Friday Night Greg, number 75. I don't even know if this is Columns Turrell's podcast. Who's Friday Night Greg Stone? That's what we're watching. No clue who that is. 40-30. This is Greg Stone. I'll zoom it up there. There's Colum. So I don't know who this is. I don't know who Greg Stone is. He looks like a guy who would die in the movie 1917. Okay. Yeah, he... he here. Well, Sweet Colum? Kid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know who Greg Stone is, though. This no, other no, no. Guy. Fuck you, okay. Stone. So let's see what these guys say. Oh, oh you fuck. <laughs> you, <laughs> yeah. This is just your whole thing is just for mean comments to kill... Just want to kill the guys with the mean comments? Someone threatened to kill me yesterday. Do they really? Yeah, you want to hear that? Want to hear it? Yeah, I got a death threat. I probably shouldn't read it just because, like, fuck these people. But fuck it, whatever. This guy messaged me. He said, and it starts off so good, dude. I just heard you on WKYD, and you are a terrible comedian. Oh my god, sound full of shit. Red Bar will be informed of you. Watch your back. I died. I died. Thank you. See, that's what you got to all be doing. If you guys all do this, we'll be so rich. And why would you read that? Listen to this again. And I've never met this guy. I've never heard of him. Greg Stone. He said he got a hate, a death threat the other day. Says he gets a death threat. Listen to this. It starts off so good. Dude, I just heard you on WKYD and you are a terrible comedian. Oh my God. You sound full of shit. Red Bar will be informed of you. Watch your back. (laughs) Red Bar. And Colm knows Red Bar very well. 
So he's laughing it up, right? So listen to this. Oh, shit. Red Bar will be informed of you. Watch your back. <laughs> Red Bar? Oh, Red uh, Bar is Mike. I, you don't know. Someone Mike? I'm very close to got. Red Bard? Red Bard. <laughs> oh, that's Julie's wife! She goes, oh, oh, someone I'm very close to. Joe List got Red Bard. I know this is going back in time, but why is that a death threat? Oh the yeah. The message he got. That Let's hear that again. The red bars watch. Didn't he say he got a death threat? Yeah, he called Let's it a this. death threat. Want to hear that? Want to hear it? Yeah. I'll tell you. I got a death threat. I Listen. probably shouldn't read it just because <clears> I got a death people. threat. Yeah. But fuck it, whatever. This guy messaged me. He said, and it starts off so good. Dude, I just heard you on WKYD, and you are a terrible comedian. Okay. Oh my yeah. sound full of shit. Okay. Red Bar will be informed of you. Okay. Watch your back. Whoa. There's no, no death, death threat, threat there, you liar. You're sued. Tell him I'm suing him. Tell him, oh, dude, his what dad a is a Jewish lawyer. He's Jewish. They got the lawyers on this. You could not. I want a retraction. I mean, you can't say that's a you death You cannot threat. say that. You? So now Joe List's wife thinks we're death threaters. That's not a death she threat. Heard the truth. You bitch. <laughs> okay, let's see how this goes. Idiot. Oh, my God. sound full of shit. Red Bar will be informed of you. Watch your back. Whoa. Oh, I guess watch your back. But that's not a death threat. No, that's our slogan. Watch your back. There's nothing wrong with saying that. Keep an eye over your shoulder. We're coming. I feel like it doesn't count as a death threat unless the person is like, I'm being serious. Trust me. I'm going to kill yeah, you. And there's yeah. no way that you can get out. Nobody of said they said Red Bar has been informed of you. Watch your back. It means, you know, watch your behaviors back. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's let's see how this uh, plays out because it's pretty good. And oh my you god! Sound full of shit. Red bar will be informed of you. Watch your back. Whoa. <laughs> red bar. Oh, red uh, bar is Mike. I you don't know someone Mike. I'm very close to got red bard. Red bard. What's red <laughs> bar? No, no, it's, no. Red bar is the man. We we don't know. We don't want any <laughs> trouble. Red bar. <laughs> Oh, I'm living it up to all the niggas that supported me, and now I'm fucking living it up, <laughs> living it up. I tell you, this is the best my life's ever been. I feel like Taylor Swift on V, <laughs> strumming a giant fucking guitar. <laughs> um, this is everything I always wanted this show to be. So she goes, it was awful, though. Did you hear that? And he's doing, this is what I want people to be doing. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Well, that's Red Bar. No, 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 Red Bar is the man. We, we don't know. We don't Hell want yeah. any trouble. Red Hell Bar. Yeah. <laughs> Red Bar likes he, me. He has. I, I don't know who Red Bar is. He's like kind <laughs> of a piece of Easy. shit. <gasps> he's kind of a piece of shit. <laughs> Joe, have you been whining? You fucking bitch ass pussy. <laughs> You're fucking dead now that we found this out. Joe List. So Joe List, and all we do is make fun of how terrible Joe List comedy is. We've never really done anything that bad no so he's telling his wife the only list stuff we've ever done is the airplane thing and then making fun of his stupid movies which come on yeah it's movies nothing it's reviewed. the lightest i mean we've made fun of him even worse and he loves us he, he likes me I, he has i don't know who red army is. he's like kind of a piece of <laughs> he's shit a, he, 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 he's, <laughs> he comments a lot on comedians and then he'll really go mean. never has a nice thing to say really no Ooh. oh very good comedian uh did you hear the best review so i hope you like me yeah wait what she says we never have nothing nice to say about nothing, but yeah. we just did a two-hour segment about how amazing it was. Very nice. Is. It was very nice. You're wrong. We have nothing nice to say about Joe List, the biggest wiener we've ever seen. And shame on you. You're married to that guy. And she do you said, like kissing his big th his teeth? Do you like she's kissing? Pregnant. You like kissing that guy when you lay with List. Is this where you wanted your life to be when you look at List and that hair and that outfit that he's wearing and that shitty apartment? Look what your life's become, ho. They're having a kid. Do you know this? Yeah, place? that's even worse. It's going to be a terrible marriage, a terrible, shitty, ugly kid. Your kid can't come out good with a Joe List dad. Column. You've ruined your life, and now we're coming for you. Columns kid, gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right, let's hear the rest. <laughs> he, he comments a lot on comedians, and then he'll really go mean. Never has a nice thing to say, really. No, no. no. Really? But I'm a very good comedian. You're yeah. the best. Great. So I hope I like me. Yeah, he would. He would like you. Red Bar has been in. He's gonna ragdoll you, dude. You're getting ragdolled. What does that mean? <laughs> Tell me about he it. has an army of <laughs> losers. What the fuck? Look, she's looking right at us, guys. She's looking at the army. 
Why are we losers? Because She's talking Joe about you guys. He has an army of losers. You're dead. <laughs> I, there's, it, it's just a joke. Threat. It's Not just a, a joke. Threat. It's just a joke to scare you. You've <laughs> never been put through, so you, we got to put you through some stuff now, you old bitch. You want to be put through some stuff? Call the army, loser. You started it. I mean, these guys couldn't be farther from losers. They're so, rich. They're rich. Very rich. We all have more money than your husband. You, dude, you're getting ragged. What does that mean? <laughs> Tell me about he it. He has an army of <laughs> losers. Like, <laughs> sir, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Greg, Greg just said all of Red Bar Snyder. Hey, Greg, like, this is all on you, Greg. You, you let this happen, Greg. So I didn't even know you up until now. And you're letting this woman say if this? Something- That's a lawsuit. I hope you have the money for a whole long three-year court battle, Greg. Because that's now what you're involved in. If you're airing this, this Greg don't know. He'll get so scared. If something happens to her baby from the stress, it's all on you, Greg. Everything is pinned on Greg. Make him know that. I love, this. I love Red Greg Bar. said, come and get it. Oh, my God. I like the idea of kicking the ant bile. Yeah. It. I can't go Red down bar. for this. Red Bar doesn't have the balls. You come on, Greg. Coming. <laughs> we can't get Red Bar. I need so your algorithm. Bar. You're fucked. You need the algorithm. I need it. Dead man We're walking. part of it. No. Dead yeah. man walking. We're Greg Stone. Fans. They're like a, She's they're so like worried. The, B, the Bay Hive. The Bay? B- they're like the Bay Hive. Thank you. That's so nice. Beyonce's fans. They're more like barbs. So Joe's been complaining to his wife. This is like when we found out Joe Matarese had been whining to his wife about Red Bar. There's nothing faggier that you could do uh, than to uh, complain to your wife about Red Bar. Jesus Christ. And we haven't heard a peep from Joe. So you're sitting there in bed whining about Red Bar. You, You can't say a peep to me. That's where you went wrong. You need to address this, Joe. This needs to be solved by next Monday. Or the lawyers. The cops. Greg Stone. <laughs> they're, like a, they're like the B, the Bay Hive. The Bay? B, Beyonce's the Beehive. The Bay Hive. <laughs> Who's bigger? The Red Bars or the Legion of Skank and the Skankites? Skank I think Skankites are at least nice. Because I'm a Skank people. Yeah. I like Skank Nights. Maybe the Skank and the called- you have. N- they think the Skanks fans are like the scariest guys out there. You have not met Woodward. <laughs> You have not met Woodward. Woodward, I'd like some messages sent to these people on my behalf. <laughs> She's scared. She's worried about this, as she should be. Skank I think nights skanks are at least nice. Ah, because I'm a skank people. Yeah, I like skank nights. Maybe the skank- that means are nothing over skank here. Nights? The skankinellis. Skankinellis. The skankivers. I'll have that's, the skankonians. That's the Italian subgroup. <laughs> <laughs> I think the regulators could defend against the regulators aren't high. We aren't high in numbers. Yeah, but they're very passionate. Yes. No, but I. But he he informed the red bar of me. He informed. He informed him. Uh oh, like that. It's not good. See, man, walk. two days. I liked. You, I liked. I liked you, man. Oh, oh. I, liked you, I can't be associated. With your red <laughs> yes, bar. thank red you. Bar. Is he? Uh, do you know who he is, honestly, or do you just kind of? Like, I think he's from Chicago. He's a comedian. Yeah. He's just a podcaster. I think I ruined heard this part. We stopped. We were so celebrating. <laughs> we didn't even get to this part. I thought that was it. And I was like, woohoo, I won it all. This is great. He's from Chicago. What else? Look how nervous you are. Ooh, you're on my radar now. <laughs> or do you just kind of like, I think he's from Chicago. He's a comedian? Yeah. He's just a podcaster. I think he used to run a club out there, but he's a yeah, he's a podcaster, a broadcaster, I guess, you know. Oh. What I mean? And he just does he's like big though. He's big enough, um, yeah. 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 annoying. And his fans they're they're kind of fans He'll that spend- will tank your like it w- I don't think a lot of social media platforms got rid of the down yeah. You know, Thing because of stuff like that. So mean. Wow. So he does. That. But he'll just, he'll probably he so sometimes he'll watch like a video of you and then just spend an hour criticizing. ripping into it. Really? Yeah. He's like, look at those fucking eyebrows, and then he'll spend ten minutes so criticizing right. your eyebrows. I could probably. Use he's pretty good at it. That's the the problem oh, is is he's a really good broadcaster. Also, this it's is, just very mean what he does. I also want to say this that is this guy doesn't know to me. that guy. This is just some fan who's like, yeah, I'm going to yeah, tell him. Yeah. I'm sure that guy would be like, No, yeah. no, no. Uh, and we've been medium. told. Very medium. That's what's nice. Nope. But it is yeah. really funny. Nope. That Keep you- dreaming! <laughs> Keep dreaming! <laughs> that better not have ruined my ending performance with that scream. Ooh, you are so fucked, brother. 
I need my Freddy gloves scraping against your pipes. (laughs) You hear that against your siding today? I'm going to take that Freddy glove to this guy's house. Does anyone have his home address that I could give away? You can instill that kind of heated hatred in someone Oh for yeah, just being you. <laughs> yeah, it's Ooh. like so funny to me. Yeah, yeah. like she's I just, just make nice your lady. skin she's crawl. Never- and no, I have- no, no, she's a complete bitch. You're, there's no such thing as nice, and you've made a kid with Joe List. <laughs> Sorry, you, that's too far. <laughs> Let's hear the rest. So funny to me. Yeah. yeah. Like, I just make your skin crawl, it's, and I have nothing to do with you. Yeah, I, I get that with skanks a lot, because I, I do it so often, and then pe- some people hate me. Really? And I do it a lot that they're like, when the in- lineup's announced, they're like, oh, for fuck's sake, why is he back? And I go, I'm coming back every okay, okay, week. Okay, back to Red Barn. <laughs> get used to it. Red I'm standing all over Big J's jokes. He can't jokes. stop thinking about this Red Barn. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be drunk and ruin this podcast every week. I don't give a... I don't, I don't care about your favorite thing at all. Make no mistake about it. They say they hate you, but that's a sign that they love you. No, no, no. Oh, where's my gun? Stone. Where's my firearm? Oh, 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 oh. Stone. <laughs> this cannot stand. <laughs> and I just saw John Wicks. Let's see if he that makes any more code. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. A, I, that you. can't be mentally the correct response. No, but I think <laughs> because they want to be heard and they know that's how to get heard. Yeah. That's how I felt about this one show on HBO. It was an Aaron okay, Sorkin. Okay, I think that's enough of them. Red Bar in the Wild, Joe List's wife, Colum Tullum. Greg Stone. Greg Stone. The Tell him Mike saw podcast. what you said. Studio has a printer, so yeah. don't speak to me, please. Uh, Tell him Mike saw what you said about him, and it's on. It's bad. It's bad. Okay, don't show him this clip. Just tell him like some scary stories. Okay. I think we got another one here. Let's see what we got. We got a bunch. Tom Papa. I did not see this. This is a text form light obeyment. Tom Papa on Red Bar in the Wild. We all know Tom Papa, right? The bread maker. Let's see what see this, this is. I don't know. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's a very small one. So somebody uh, commented <laughs> on Tom Papa's page and they said, um,. Is this about your Kill Tony appearance where they made fun of you? Forget about it, Tom. Kill Tony leaves a lot of people feeling down, mostly the viewers. Remember, Red Bar's watching. And of course, Tom Papa likes the a comment. Tom Papa fan account, perhaps? And Tom Papa or fan account. Alt? Okay, so look at that. Tom Papa's reading this. He don't know what's up from down. It's uh, He doesn't need to be scared. Tom Papa's been through enough.